Hi, welcome to the Price Action Analyst YouTube channel. This is a follow-up video on KNC, Kyber Network Cryptocurrency. Um, in my last video, I just identified that this is broken out, was now in an uptrend, and was consolidating in a pennant pattern. Um, and uh, this is where, when, when I made the video, this was the last day of price action. And I said, basically, I would be willing to get in here um, that, and or sit out. And what I wouldn't do is short it. Um, and if I'd have been more specific, what I might have said, too, was that any break price action above this, the last candle here, the last day's candle. So we're looks like we're about, you know, uh, quadruple zero eight five four one so the moment price is above that you could you could have used that as an entry trigger um, also there'd been a spike in volume here and what I was saying was if you got you know further strength what you'd want to see would be hopefully an increase of volume and that would be supportive of the price action so um, a couple of days later uh, the price action looks like that. So um, that's very good to see. Um, it's good to see that, you know, this analysis has predictive power. I'd hate to be lying to you and, you know, uh, this not to be helpful in any, any way. So I'm glad that it's worked out this way. You can see that, you know, even on this first day, the fact that it closed at its high there was indicative of that price was going to continue further, and it has. Um... I've had one comment on my page ask for targets. Uh, if if I'd had to, had to have given you targets on the first video I made, normally between the two peaks there you'll get some weakness. You haven't here. Price has rocketed through and there's been a big volume spike. You have got a wick there. Um, so I'm not too sure. I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy if if you're not in here. I wouldn't buy here. I just wait to see what happens here regarding this wick. You're probably going to have price continue on and push higher than the wick, but it'll also might make another wick here. So, in terms of where I think it's going to go, I would zoom out there. So see where that that wick is. It's. Any sort of previous high, you're going to get weakness. So here was a previous high, and when price got back there, you got weakness, you got a wash, and you got a lot of a long period of selling pressure. So be mindful of any of these previous highs. So here's one. Price is making a, a small wick off the back of that. So that would be my first level. I'll just try and draw these in. It's it's difficult on this package because it doesn't let you make horizontal bars. So I'll just try. There's one. This would be the next level. There. Oh. Bear with me for a second. Come on. It's so much easier when you can just hit a horizontal line. Anyways, so you've had this, this previous level is gone. Price has now proceeded through that. You had selling pressure there and it's gone through that. You've got a level here. Based on this candle, I don't think that this is going to hold in the long term. You might see some weakness off the back of that. Um, so watch price action here. If you get if you get a candle that you know starts here, ends here, and closes there, then I think we're we're going to work our way up to this this level here. That would be my next target. If price retraces here off this wick so it pushes up into this wick lower or higher leaves another wick then we're probably going to do something 
similar to this price action here where you got you know two three days of red and then with these wicks here I might just zoom in here so if price is going to retrace here my expectation is for it to look similar to here so you're going to get you know one two three days and then you'd be looking for a wick like that and you would you would get long again here um, the only difference is this is now stronger like it's almost like people are like all right this is going up now uh, and they're more willing to buy it so expect strength if you get a retrace expect you know expect a short-term retrace and i would be looking for wicks you know it's help it's more helpful when 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 the price action paints in but i'd be looking for wicks around this level here if if it retraces so if it's stronger you're going to get like a, a green candle it's going to close at its high and that's in, indicative of that's of price continuing so just watch the just watch the price action here but um Overall, I think that this coin's probably going to go higher. It's just a matter of how whether it just continues straight out or retraces here. Um, and then, at every high, it's basically the same process. You you're going to expect weakness at this high, and then depending on what happens there, is you know is it going to punch out, retrace, and keep going, or is it going to dive further in and retrace, maybe come back to this previous level here and work up but overall now this coin is trending up you've got higher lows so I would continue to expect that you know and once you get to this level and it moves if it moves up higher then it's gunning for this this level up here um, the other thing that makes me bullish about these crypto coins is don't get me wrong, when you look through all 175 in Binance, most of them are, are dead. Most of them are not doing this. But I had a list of, I don't know, roughly about 40 coins. And so there there definitely are coins that are um, get garnering people's buying interest and the prices are going up. And always remember, I'm always looking at these charts in relative to Bitcoin. I'm not really... I'm not really interested in the price of these coins relative to the US dollar because everything's going up. What what we're trying to identify and invest in here is the next Bitcoin. And so the next Bitcoin will be something that is appreciating in price relative to Bitcoin. Um, unfortunately, that doesn't narrow it down to a coin. But from my, my knowledge, all you can do is buy the, the coins that are going up in price. Um, and specifically going up in uptrends like this. So I'll do a follow-up video of this, just maybe in the next uh, three or four days. Just remember, if price shows strength here, uh, you know, if it goes up and it comes back leaving a wick, be careful of that. If it goes up and it closes at its high, it's going to continue going, most likely. So that that's how I, I would play you know if you were desperate to get in here wait to see what the next day looks like here if it can close close above this wick that would probably be a way to get in if it leaves another wick just be patient watch for price to watch to see what price is going to do um, so hopefully that's helpful if you like this video and you like the previous video please hit the like button and subscribe. And if there's anything, any coins or any stocks that you'd like me to do a video about, please feel free to leave a request in the comments um, and I'll do a video for you. Thanks very much.